right um uh, so a uh, video on uh, 60 charger grill assembly um i'm gonna go through this um it's pretty straightforward um your grill is comprised of uh three parts the main grill and uh it fastens together so it has uh holes you see these little holes and notches there so it has these plastic little um pins that go into a hole on that side or this side i think this side um so these align and then you have these fasteners that go as such um the old ones were pretty much crappy. Uh, tried to restore them, but there were some pieces that snapped off. So I uh, went ahead and bought this little kit. So we got the grill uh, mounting uh, fasteners and spacers and all that stuff uh, included in here. Uh, so you got pretty much everything you need uh, with these spacers. And so uh, they bolt on two here, two here, and then there's three here, and three here on the other side. Um, and uh, once you put it all together, um, it, this is how it looks like. So the next step is um, these other fasteners that aren't part of this kit. And these are original to the car. Uh, you have these kind of uh, spring metal, um, I don't know what you call them, but uh, these, normally I think some of them come with eight. Uh, when I took this car apart, <clears throat> they came only with three. And if I look correctly, uh, they would go someplace like here where you see this little notch here. Uh, it's a little bit um, shorter than um, the other ones. So you see this is a longer one. So there's no way this would go in here. It would most likely go over here and sort of flex, right, instead of putting washers. So I went over to Home Depot and... Uh, Grabbed about 20 little, uh, where are they? Uh, 20 little uh, washers here. And these are the ones I'm gonna put uh, in front of these little nuts, um, just for making sure that it's nicely fastened. So the way it goes is you got some, uh, these T, I don't know what you call them, T bolts or whatever. Uh, these slide into the rail on your uh, trim. The thick ones go on the the top part of your uh, the top part of your uh, trim and the smaller ones because they got there's some thick ones and there's some thinner ones smaller ones they fit on the the bottom right so I'm not gonna take it out because I've already placed it but there's uh, five of them one, two, three, four, five of them. On the bottom, there are the smaller ones and the thicker ones. And the bigger ones go, um, five of them go on the top. And then you got four of them that go on the side um, trim. So I got some on each side. So basically what you want to do is just fasten everything up and uh, align it with the way it is uh, shaped over here. So just align your um, your trim accordingly. Uh, these have all been uh, polished and, and whatnot. So that's the first part of the video as of now. So we will continue and progress throughout the course of uh, this assembly. Again, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm referring to uh, books and diagrams. Um, I have some diagrams. The owner's manual also uh, gives you uh, insights uh, on how to put it together. Um, some of these guys here on the other side completely broke off. I had to re fix them, um, redo them all from scratch. Uh, like I said, I spent countless amount of hours on this uh, grill and repainting it and uh, if I do choose one day I will match this color here and just go with a sharpie or somewhat of a, a, a felt just uh, run uh, run down each one of these but I prefer the black look you know so so there you have it for now and uh, stay tuned for uh, the next part all right um, <clears throat> so continuation of the grill assembly 
So uh, I, I set it here for now. I need to make room on the table uh, for the actual uh, frame that this thing needs to bolt to. Um, so I went ahead and put all these uh, fasteners on. I had to put uh, double washers, small little washers, picked up at Home Depot and uh, they did the job very well and uh, pretty happy with the end result. Actually I have the arrows. Had to reconstruct these. I bought a off this guy I bought a spare arrow and uh, had to uh, redo it and uh, yeah it was quite the job so all in all I'm very happy with the result um, you'll notice that uh, the fasteners here this is where they will just paste them for now this is J clips with some uh, some uh, bolts for uh, support holding the uh, the casing here the uh, where you uh, um, where you put the uh, the pods on and all that I'll show you uh, in, uh, in the upcoming video uh, but yeah that's pretty much it so right now I'm gonna be putting it on this this is the frame it's all been painted all set in black um, on the other side underneath so I had to lay this down I want a smooth surface uh, painted this two three days ago so it's probably dry by now and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this so just want to show something here in the kit you'll get these guys um, the J clips with the bolts make sure that you tighten these up a couple of times in and out in and out taking a pair of uh, pliers like this and um, tighten it uh, this is uh, what is it Five sixteenths, three eighths. So these three eighths um, on this end, and just tighten them a couple of a couple of a couple of times. Excuse me, pardon my French. Um, and they go here, right? So as I was indicating, they go here. And you, what you don't want is tighten these up and then break these, crack them. That's already you don't want that to happen. So. If you're using your original ones, I mean, they should be okay, but these ones are new and I uh, just wanted to put that out there. Just make sure that you tighten them, loosen them, tighten them, loosen them a couple of times so that uh, they can screw uh, back in with ease. So, um, I have all my uh, stuff here ready to be reassembled. Uh, I've also got the uh, trims right here that my buddy polished for me. An amazing job uh, got the covers here as well so pretty much everything looking like uh, ready to reassemble um, these are what I was talking to you about where you bolt those uh, with the J clips on the grill um, once this is mounted once the grill is on and I got the pods in there in that other box um, everything is uh, repainted here the uh, pods and I uh, left the labels on them and everything on the other one, so the original ones. And uh, there you have it. So I'm gonna get started on this, and I'll try to make uh, as many videos as I can. I'm gonna wipe it down, it's just dusty, and uh, clean it up to make way for the grill. All right. So uh, pretty much this is where we're at right now. I uh, positioned the grill into the frame and uh, sort of lining up the holes and it's upside down for you know simple reason because there's this bracket there that's in the way uh, put in the doors and uh, so I taped them so that they don't you know fall and whatever so I um, still have to put my uh, charger emblem there but all in all, she's looking really sweet. Look at that. And um, the uh, next step will be to, uh, I mean, I'm just, you know, right now I just put it to online, but the next, the, the step before this, right, is actually uh, putting on the headlights, uh, putting on the headlight bezels there, the frame, and, uh, and then 
bolt it in because you know it's not you know I can do it but we can drop the doors and I don't want to drop the doors now so this is how she's looking uh, when I repaired this I forgot that there's a hole missing there so I'm gonna have to drill a hole probably take some measurements on the other side and uh, drill a hole shouldn't be that hard um, and that's it so I'm gonna go and uh, put the uh, headlight and the uh, high beams um, I got these fasteners on here just for now um, what else so these guys are gonna fasten with those um, those baskets there that hold the uh, the pods so so we're ways away from getting this done but uh, she's gonna get done so. And it's figuring out these guys here with the spacers because there's some that these guys are spacers and I believe these guys go in the bigger holes like so like so and this guy so I believe all the spacers right go on the top side I would assume or actually the bottom side I would assume but uh I have to look in the uh, in the um, instruction book there, um, which I'll be showing and I'll be sharing with you guys in the next little while. So uh, this one is probably one of these guys here, right? Um, but these 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 guys they go together, and uh, these little guys here, the J clips. They actually go inside here, so I'm not putting it in yet. So I need to position J clips first before on the bottom and on the top before you start thinking of fastening everything. So it's very important. So I've yet to figure out if these guys actually go here. There's the bottom side of it. So usually it comes on with one of these guys and then. This guy goes in here, and then this guy goes in here, and then they clip together. So this is from this is from the bottom side. So it goes on the bottom side here with the spacer. Well, actually, I will not call it a spacer. I call it a little plastic washer. This little plastic washer goes here, and like so. And then they all click together. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'll figure it out and uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, there you have it for now. All right, here's a little update on uh, the uh, grill assembly uh, and the whole, this whole uh, mounting uh, for the grill. I'm putting on the lights here and I'm just going to pretty much explain it here. Um, these guys here are written high, low, right? You gotta look as you see here, high, high, low. These are for your high beams, right? And these are for your standard lights, right? So the way it goes is they're, they can only go in one way uh, because of the notches that represent the high beam and they can only go a certain way and these guys go only in a certain way so you can't put these guys in this one and vice versa uh, the way you go about it is uh, you start by the long bolts so you put one here put one here and then you have a little spring in here and you drive your uh, Phillips screwdriver um, the, the screw in here and it goes through the frame and it just peeks out through there so and um, same same thing for both sides and uh, when you put these um, these rings there to hold the the light uh, down uh, there's a little notch here if you can see it and you just uh, you know twist them and it just goes into place so you have those uh, these guys here so these are the ones for these uh, 
Phillips screws here. These are the ones that go here, here, and here. And uh, your little spring here. It's this kind of screw here. I don't know if you can see it. Right, so this goes through the little spring, and the spring has a, um, a notch right there. You see that little notch right there? That one. Um, this is where the spring goes through, and uh, you bolt it onto that. All right, you're sorry, not you bolt, you screw it onto the frame. All right, and then uh, that's pretty much it. It's straightforward, and you got these uh, long, long ones here, and these go. Over here, right? One here and one here, right? So you just drive them in, and uh, then you put your uh, your little cup in there, and your light should uh, fit in directly. So and then you just fasten everything down. Okay, you need to get this done before. You put your grill, right? Because you don't want to be stuck and having the grill in the way. It's not a good idea. And then uh, afterwards, you have one, two, three, four, five screw holes for the uh, bezel that goes on here uh, that resembles the dash. So, and uh, geez, I don't even know where I put those. So I'm gonna have to look for them. So that's pretty, pretty much uh, what I've been doing here and um, pretty straightforward just you know just mind the high low and the highs so it says high dash low one says high dash low and the other one says high right this is for your driving lights and this is for the high low high beams okay all right guys uh, again so i've uh, finished by installing all the headlights and uh Everything has to fit a certain way. You have to make sure that these uh, cups there, they go on the right side and on the left side because uh, see here, the spring fastens on this side and here the spring fastens on this side. And if you inverse them and you put them the same way, your light will not fit. It's gonna go the other way. So, um, that's the one thing that I realized and I was kind of like what's going on so then it quickly dawned on me I said let's just flip them around because I had them mixed up because I had to paint repaint them and whatnot so so the headlights are on they look beautiful look at this nice work so I uh, drove so I'm just feeling it underneath here I drove the screws as much as I could not too much you know leaving some tension but uh, this needs to be uh, adjusted and the best way to do this is in front of a wall at night and uh, With a flashlight just go in there and adjust your screws uh, Or in your garage there dim lights there to see um, You know the adjustment of the height right and this is how you do it pretty much so uh, next step is gonna be um, I'm gonna flip this over now and the next step is going to be uh, putting in these guys here. So, installing these guys, right? Uh, with the uh, vacuum, the uh, actuators there. And uh, going from there. So, but uh, what I think is for to install these guys, uh, the, uh, the grill needs to be installed because. As you can see, these one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, they have to fasten on this. So the next step is actually putting in the grill and fastening it. So that's my next step. So uh, again, never done this before. And if I can do it, you can do it, trust me. <laughs> and uh, hopefully with the help of this video, it'll show some people um, how they can do it. And... Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. It just takes a bit of um, time, and, uh, and there you have it. So, I right, uh, hit a little update. Um, so, trying to organize my stuff. Uh, already went ahead 
and uh, installed the uh, pods for the headlight door vacuum. So the way you see it is the way it came off the car. Uh, the, the driver's side has the, uh, the hose for, um, there's two hoses. And then this one connects through another long hose to the other one on the other side. And um, the uh, <clears throat> the way that it, 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 it bolts on, so you got these two bolts uh, that go on to that uh, to that pod, and they're seven sixteenths. And uh, I repainted them all. Uh, and you also have where is it? If I could find them, you have the um, these guys here. I totally forgot about adding these guys to the list. So, you got these guys here that go onto uh, this bracket here. Uh, and they bolt into this right here with the arm, which actuates the pump when there's pressure or there's air going through it. Um, so, that's pretty much it. So, um, the way that it sits is the way you see it, is the way it goes. Right, there's no other way. It's not the other way around. It's this way. The one, uh, they're both the same. They're both, but just one is for the left, one is for the right hand side. Um, also, uh, I put uh, on the table, kind of set up my all my fasteners and, and all that stuff to get organized. You might need some of these guys here for your doors. All right, the doors have these plastic push pins that uh, stick out. They're right here. Um, so you see this little, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's one of these, uh, little, uh, these little, uh, washer, uh, pins here that go into the, uh, pins that uh, are on the frame that hold the door so that it stays in place. Uh, these guys here, uh, you know, if you're able to get your original ones, off without breaking anything good luck if not uh, you can order a bunch unfortunately they come in a pack of like i don't know 50 or 100. Uh, this is uh, the code 316-716 fpo part number 23648 and i got these over from uh, this guy here no limit motorsports um, i think buddy's on uh, ebay or something like that so Give them a call if you need some of these guys. Um, and uh, that's it. So then you have your uh, the bolts with the spacers. So there's seven on the bottom side because this thing is upside down. So there's seven on the bottom side and then there's five on the top side. Um, and you got all your spacers here. Now, as I'm looking through this, um, I'm trying to think here because normally... You have this little thin washer that goes in between, right? And then you have this that clips onto it. And then they're supposed to snap together. For some reason or another, um, based on the original ones that came off the car, which I'm looking for and I'll find them, uh, they fit much better uh, instead of these repops. So I'm probably gonna look for my older ones and they're still in good shape and um, gonna go with uh, with those most likely uh, the way this goes these spacers um, they're I think I've explained this in my other video the spacers go on the top and I still haven't figured out where they're supposed to go but I will figure it out um, started looking in the diagram <clears throat> and did a little bit of research on the internet to try to find uh, the best way to put them but um, I will definitely ensure that uh, I communicate this back to you guys in these videos so bear with me um, another thing that I'm looking for is these little uh, small little uh, bolts that fit on here and it they bolt onto the door um, those I haven't seen them yet they gotta be somewhere they haven't gone very far and uh, once I see them I'll find them and there's so there's uh, eight of them and there's small little tiny bolts um, 
and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, setting things up uh, first things first is I want to do these guys uh, and hopefully uh, push them in uh, without damaging anything I think the best way is to take a uh, like a socket head a small little socket head and just push it in um, to make sure that it's uh, it's fitted nicely so so there you have it I'll uh, update uh, as, as, as I go along on the uh, grill uh, setup for the 68 charger. So, it, uh, so uh, looking at uh, how these guys uh, go, so these uh, little uh, spacers, okay, the way they go is you have this goes on the top side, and then there's this little plastic washer. I would think that the best way is this way, right? And I looked at the diagram, I believe that's what they were indicating. So you put these like this on the top side, by the way, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, this one in the middle, this one only takes a bolt. You just run a bolt because you got your J clip in there and that's all you need. The other ones, you put this with the washer on top and you take one of these little discs and you gotta use some I can't do it one handed here but you gotta use a little bit of power to pop it in there once it pops in it does not move anymore it can move left to right uh, just to align it with what you got so uh, I'm gonna put all these guys on this for what some reason um, I don't think it has any on the other side um, so I'm gonna have to look into that. So uh, there's a possibility that um, the other side doesn't require spacers, but I doubt it. Um, I'll look into it. Um, my guess is they will require spacers. So I don't know why, for some reason, the kit I bought didn't come with the uh, correct amount of spacers. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys on now, snap them in. And then I'm left with, um, for the other side, I need five. And so I would assume maybe, um, yeah, there's five of them here. And then there's, hmm, funny. I'm short one spacer and I'm extra one. Oh, no, yeah, I am short. But uh, that's why I say keep your old stuff. You never know uh, when you might need it. So one, two, three for this side to finish the top. And I got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this uh, doesn't make any sense, but we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna look through my pile of um, original stuff that I had for the car. And uh, I'm gonna look for the, the spacers and uh, put them on. But for now, they're on. The J clips are on. And um, once you put it on, you don't tighten tighten it all uh, the best thing to do is just finger tighten it and you know get it tight as much as you can and then so that you can move it around and and adjust your grill accordingly so it's not crooked uh, one thing you might be wondering here is I went ahead and used the original J clips because the new ones uh, that they uh, give in the kit they're they're like I don't know I don't know where they were made probably made somewhere in china they are tight as heck so uh if you can use your other ones if not you might have to uh use a tap and die or you know just uh re-thread uh to make sure that uh they're they're on and they're nice not too snug not too loose uh, so that you can tighten these guys right with, with the with the bolt so the bolt goes on the top side and you tighten them right here, okay? And that's pretty much it. And if you look on the other side, this is where you have that other part of the spacer, which is this guy right here. So there you have it. Um, I still have to figure out what these guys are for, where they're supposed to go. They came in the kit. I don't know what they're for. Um, I was looking at my disassembly video and I couldn't find where 
where they came from and what they're for but uh, I'll do some more research and again I'll look at my uh, diagram uh, in uh, the uh, owner's manual or in uh, restoration guide to see if I can figure out where they came from so there you have it for now all right uh, so here's a uh, the diagram for the uh, front grill uh, basically it uh, explains pretty much uh, what I've um, explained in the video uh, in it you'll see uh, how the uh, how these uh, spacers uh, the orientation they go in uh, with those little plastic uh, washers um, you have uh, the screws that go in from the top side um, also like in the center there's only one screw uh, that goes into the middle part so on the back on the top and the bottom side of uh, the grill uh, sort of explains pretty much everything this I believe this could be from a different sort of uh, b-body uh, but the uh, principle is the same and um, just following this just for reference uh, is pretty much helpful um, again, uh, take your time, and uh, I think I've went over enough in the video to uh, provide an explanation uh, for anybody who wants to dabble into this. So, so there you have it. This is the diagram um, off of the um, Mopar B body restoration. I know that they have the same thing in the uh, owner's manual. I have it somewhere, and uh, the, I, I mean, if, I imagine if I reference to it and show me the same thing so so uh, this is the diagram and uh, refer to it when needed all right i'm back with a, an update here so uh i managed to find my old spacers and uh mm -hmm. worked out fine uh, i put the newer ones facing uh the top side so meaning this side here, this is the bottom side, so I put the old ones here, and they still look beautiful. Uh, but I put the newer ones facing the other side. Uh, and uh, again, so just going to go through it again. The way they clip on is pretty simple. So, basically, you have a thin little plastic piece, which we'll call a washer. And then you have the bottom half of the spacer. And you have the top part, which is a bit of a harder, harder plastic. The top part goes in those holes, right? And these holes, right, facing the grill mounting holes with the J clip in them. And this is the bottom side. So this goes, so before you put your grill on, go around and plug these, right? Just put them on. Put them on everywhere before you even bring your grill closer put them all on it's going to be way easier and uh, once they're on uh you, this part and this part go under right go on the bottom half and then this part goes on top and then you clip them both together and like so and that's it so they clip together so when you push them here like this this is how they are underneath okay uh, again, the center, the center piece does not take any uh, any spacers, and uh, I'm using a three eight, right, to tighten these. Do not tighten them too hard, because you will break the plastic. So, thankfully, nothing broke. I didn't hear no cracking on mine. So I've uh, fastened this side. I gotta flip it and just do the other side in the next little bit and just uh, tighten them just a little a little bit more uh, again so you got one one two three four five six on the bottom and on the other side you have one two three four and you have both of them have the center piece this does not require any uh, spacers so I have all these extra ones right now which I'll probably keep maybe sell them at a swap meet uh, for somebody who needs them these guys very easy basically what I took was a socket put the socket onto that little piece there okay 
and just giving it some taps with, I don't know, I, I think I used this, and just give it some taps, and it fit in, so this holds the door in place, just to make sure that it goes nowhere, make sure you put these on, do not forget them, I've also managed to find uh, my little bolts here, that screw on the outside, so they screw here, one here, one here, same thing, one here, one here, these are to hold the brackets, okay, for the uh, doors, and always remember, so if you're looking at it this way, the bottom part, so this, this angle, see, it's nice and straight, but it's angled downwards, this is the part that faces down, right, so if you're leaving them flat, they're going up like here, right, so this part is the bottom part, when you mount these guys on, you uh, have to put this little bracket in that center and there's a little slot where it goes. So you see this little slot here. Uh, this goes in between, so I need to run this through here. And then just uh, fasten with this little screw onto the uh, pod for the actuation. What are you doing here? I told you a hundred times, I don't want you here. Get off, come on, come on buddy. <sighs> This car is going to have hair all over it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, the next is just mounting these guys on like so. I got the, the four screws, two here, two there. Make sure you put your Jake, Jake lips and you just drive them through. Buddy, please, Ozzy, come on. Anyways, so uh, there you have it. I'm so happy this is finally done. You should have seen the state that this was in when I first got it. It was horrific. Uh, again, don't forget, put tape here. Just make sure your uh, doors don't go up and down until... So once you've put this on, right, once everything is fastened, then you can remove the tape because the windows, with the pressure of the suction, won't be going nowhere, the, the doors. So. And so there we have it. Um, all right, I'll uh, probably be posting a last little uh, video uh, showcasing the whole thing all together. If you have any questions, man, you know what? Uh, you can reach out and uh, ask me. Be more than happy. Um, so, thank you for watching. All right, um, this is it. Last video, uh, last part of the video. Um, everything's uh, set up and done. Um, the entire grill is ready to bolt onto the car. Um, the only thing is I uh, can't find my uh, charger emblem here. Uh, probably somewhere. And when I get to it, I will install it. Uh, I'm just going to wipe her down and um, that's it. So uh, all the actuators, they, uh, they work. Everything is uh, working accordingly. So uh, this one, see, goes up and down. You see here, right? And uh, so I tighten these, I tighten these, tighten everything. Um, the last thing is uh, setting it up, uh, then obviously um, running. So these guys, there's one hose, one hose that runs across here with some of the electricals for the wiring. Um, so your harness goes through here uh, for your electrical and the uh, air hoses. So once that's done, and then make sure you run your your wires here through. Look at that cat hair everywhere, and you run wires and your wires here, and just close these guys up, and um, you're pretty much done after that. Um, I think there's nothing else uh, to add to this. I'm very pleased with the result. Um, so, if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments. And uh, good luck in your projects. Thanks for watching.